Good morning Year 5. Today I'm going to be reading you the chapter Dream Catching. So remember the PDF copy is on the website so you can follow along as I'm reading or if you've got your own copy you know which chapter to look at. Today you're going to be using inference and I want you to draw and write a short paragraph about what you think a troggle humper dream might be. So you need to listen carefully to whenever the troggle humper dream is mentioned. The big friendly giant put the suitcase on the ground. He bent down low so that his enormous face was close to Sophie's. From now on, we is keeping as still as winky little mice is, he whispered. Sophie nodded. The misty vapour swirled around her. It made her cheeks damp and left dewdrops in her hair. The BFG opened the suitcase and took out several empty glass jars. He set them ready on the ground with their screw tops removed. Then he stood up very straight. His head was now high up in the swirling mist and it kept disappearing then appearing again. He was holding the long net in his right hand. Sophie, staring upwards, saw through the mist that his colossal ears were beginning to swivel out from his head. They began waving gently to and fro. Suddenly the BFG pounced. He leaped high in the air and swung the net through the mist with a great swishing sweep of his arm. Got him, he cried. A jar, a jar, quick, quick, quick. Sophie picked up a jar and held it up to him. He grabbed hold of it. He lowered the net. Very carefully, he tipped something absolutely invisible from the net into the jar. He dropped the net and swiftly clapped one hand over the jar. The top, he whispered. The jar top, quick. Sophie picked up the screw top and handed it to him. He screwed it on tight and the jar was closed. The BFG was very excited. He held the jar close to one ear and listened intently. It's a wink scriffler, he whispered, with a thrill in his voice. It's, 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 it's even better. It's a fizz wizard. It's a golden fizz wizard. Sophie stared at him. Oh my, oh my, he said, holding the jar in front of him. This will be giving some little toddler a very happy night when I is blowing it in. Is it a really good one? Sophie asked. A good one? he cried. It's a golden fizz wizard. It is not often I is getting one of these. He handed the jar to Sophie and said, Please be still as a starfish now. I is thinking there may be a whole swarm of fizz wizards up here today. And do kindly stop breathing. You is terribly noisy down there. I haven't moved a muscle, Sophie said. Then don't, the BFG answered sharply. Once again, he stood up tall in the mist, holding his net at the ready. Then came the long silence, the waiting, the listening. And at last, with surprising suddenness, came the leap and the swish of the net. Another jar, he cried, quick, quick, quick. When the second dream was safely in the jar and the top was screwed down, the BFG held it to his ear. Oh no, he cried. Oh, mince my maggots. Oh, swipe my swoggles. What's the matter? Sophie asked. It's a troggle humper, he shouted. His voice was filled with fury and anguish. Oh, save our solos, he cried. Deliver us from the weasels. The devil is dancing on my dibbles. What are you talking about? Sophie said. The BFG was getting more distressed every minute. Oh, bash my eye bones, he cried, waving the jar in the air. I come all this way to get lovely golden dreams, and what is I catching? I is catching a fretsome choggle humper, he cried. This is a bad, bad dream. It is worse than a bad dream. It is a nightmare. Oh dear, Sophie said. What will you do with that? I is never letting it go, the BFG cried. If I do, 
then some poor little toddler will be having the most curd blood limb time. This one is a really kicksy bog thumper. I is exploding it as soon as I get home. Nightmares are horrible, Sophie said. I had one once and I woke up sweating all over. With this one, you would be waking up screaming all over, the BFG said. This one would make your teeth stand on end. If this one got into you, your blood would be freezing to icicles and your skin would go creeping across the floor. Is it as bad as that? It's worse, cried the BFG. This is a real whoopsie gob switcher. You said it was a choggle humper, Sophie told him. It is a choggle humper, cried the exasperated BFG, but it's also a bog thumper and a gob switcher. It is all three riddled into one. Oh, I see. I is so glad I was clutching it tight. Ah, you wicked beastie, you, he cried, holding up the jar and staring into it. Never more is you going to be hunk doodling the poor little human being in toddlers. Sophie, who was also staring into the glass jar, cried out, I can see it! There's something in there! Of course there's something in there, the BFG said. You was looking at a frightsome truggle humper. But you told me dreams were invisible. They is always invisible until they is captured the BFG told her. After that, they is losing a little of their invisibility. We are seeing this one very clearly. Inside the jar, Sophie could see the faint scarlet outline of something that looked like a mixture between a blob of gas and a bubble of jelly. It was moving violently thrashing against the sides of the jar and forever changing shape. It's wiggling all over the place. Sophie cried. It's fighting to get out. It'll bash itself to bits. The tastier, the nastier, sorry, the dream, the angrier it is getting when it is in prison, the BFG said. It is the same with wild animals. If an animal is very fierce and you was putting it in a cage, it will make a tremendous rumple dumpus. If it is a nice animal, like a cockatoo or a frog or frump, it will sit quietly. Dreams is exactly the same. This one is a nasty, fierce, bog-rotting nightmare. Just look at him, splashing himself against the glass. It's quite frightening, Sophie cried. I would be hating to get this one inside me on a darksome night, the BFG said. So would I, Sophie said. The BFG started putting the bottles back into the suitcase. Is that all? Sophie asked. Are we going? I am so upset by this trouble humping, bog thumping gob switcher, the BFG said, that I is not wishing to go to dream. Go on. Dream catching is finished for today. Soon Sophie was back in the waistcoat pocket and the BFG was racing home as fast as he could go. When at last they emerged out of the mist and came again onto the hot yellow wasteland, all the other giants were sprawled out on the ground fast asleep. So remember, you are describing what you think a troggle humper dream is like. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some of your pictures to go with that. Have a great day learning and have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.